It's always difficult to deal with me. Um, you know, and it, I think it adds even more when you have uh, two all-stars with you, two guys that command, um, you know, multiple eyes, you know, any possession, you know, and um, they're, they're so in such a great rhythm right now. I've been able just to you know, pick my spots and, um, you know, do other things to help us try to win ball games while those guys uh, take the load. And, uh, you know, tonight was an example of them, uh, you know, giving me a little bit more space, and I just tried to, um, you know, make some plays. I don't think it feels like a streak. I think it feels like, uh, you know, we won one game. We won the next game, and, uh, and how do we prepare and be better the following game? We've taken one step at a time. We haven't overlooked any steps along this process thus far, and I think that's part of the reason why we're in this position today. Um, we have to be much better, <laughs> obviously, in game three, going into a very hostile environment. Um, you know, going in there where they're extremely loud, they play well, they play faster. But we've, uh, we've enjoyed the process to this point. And, uh, you know, once we got to it, we're trying to take care of business. And then once it's over, we want to learn from that instance and then move on and see how we can get better the next time. They've done what they're supposed to do. They won two games. They won their home games. What's the old saying? The series doesn't start till you lose at home. Again, the first game was ugly. Tonight was, was, it was not pretty. But yet and still, we're not quitting. I don't, I don't sense any quit in that locker room. So everybody can bury us and put us under, but we're not quitting. So I'm concerned about what we can correct, what we can do once we go back home. We'll be right back.